Hey, what's up, guys? Ruby here. Welcome back to another uh, Brawl Talk reaction video. Uh, this is going to be the uh, this is the reaction trailer for season twenty of Brawl Stars, which um, crazy to think we're already on season twenty. Yeah, I I remember back when um we first started with season one back in twenty twenty. <sighs> Good times. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so season twenty um gonna be starting uh real soon when i'm starting when i'm recording this 136k people are waiting to say so oh we're oh we're uh, sorry already uh, i gotta i gotta get my thoughts quick uh so what i know so far in the trailer is that apparently there's um gonna be something about a thing called hypercharge i don't know if it's gonna be like a new gimmick that's gonna be introduced in this game or not maybe you know uh, I think they're. I think one of the new brawls that we're gonna get is gonna complete the uh, the Gold Arm Gang group with uh, Bal and Sam. That's where it might be the chromatic brawler. And then I think we're also gonna be getting another brawler here that might start a, lot, uh, a duo. I I want to say that would be um, Pearl. Who's Pearl? Hang on. They, they did sleep dude. This is a new brawler. Pearl. I don't know. I was thinking the other brawler might be a. The, uh, the ghost station, uh, the ghost station of uh, Gus, because that would, uh, that would be released in October, which would make sense. So, uh, yeah. Also, we're probably going to get into a new community manager in this video since uh, Paula left. It's brought out time. A robot that attacks with cookies. An orchestra conductor or a train conductor. Desert right. wasteland skins. Oh. And Brawl Academy skins. Hypercharge! And learn how to get a free ping in this Brawl Talk. Let's get ready to Brawl! In the red corner, we have the new Brawl Stars Community Manager. Unbeaten, hypercharged, it's Marzio! Yeah. The Skull Crusher! I wish I had a cool effect like that. And in the blue corner, it's Danny! Danny. Level one. Oh man, really? Yes! Oh, hey, Paula. Okay guys, keep it clean. Do I really need to fight, Paula? Yes, Danny. Now touch gloves. Welcome to Brawl Talk. Hi, my name is Marzio. I'm the new Brawl Stars community manager. Oh. This upcoming season is called Back to Ranger Range, and it presents the home of Shelly, Colt and Spike. Just when you thought Colt and Shelly could finally rest on their new home, a new challenger appeared. And Pearl is the new chromatic brother of the season, and she's now completing Sam and Belle's trio. Yeah, Pearl right. is a cookie oven robot created by Sam and Belle, and she's like a daughter to them. If you mess with Sam and Belle, Pearl will go after you with the anger of a thousand burning cookies. And yeah, that's her main attack, hot cookies. She spreads a series of cookies in medium range. Most of the cookies won't hit the target if you are a bit distant, but it's pretty easy to hit at least one of them. For her super, she quickly explodes and knocks back everything within a short radius around her. It also right. destroys walls. What's different about Pearl is that she has this heat bar. The higher the heat inside her oven, the hotter her cookies will be, and so, the higher the damage. Uh. The heat bar keeps charging while you are not attacking, and when it's complete, she overheats, causing max damage with both her main and her super attack. Once you attack or use the super, the hit bar cools down. Pearl is getting an underwater skin at the end of the Brawl Pass, called Periscope Pearl. And her cookies now become fish, and she has a goldfish swimming inside her. She is also getting a 29 gem skin called Vintage Pearl, where she becomes a toy oven but still shoots painful cookies. So, are we getting Ranchy Wild West skins? Not exactly, but close enough. They are the Wasteland skins. Scorpion Willow now controls mines with scorpions, and she'll be released with a Brawl Pass, so you can buy with the Blink when the season starts. Marauder Maisie is a perfect adaptation of how Maisie would look like in a post-apocalyptic world. She's also the Power Link skin. Raider Cordelius leaves his garden and is now adapted to survive <laughs> in the desert. And Rodeo Hank, still a shrimp, but in a tank that's more aligned with life in the range. What's the results of Brawl Skins plus Monsters plus School? The result is Brawl Academy. Academy Skins. He has the best grades, he knows everything about sci-fi movies, <laughs> he's nerds <laughs> quick. Boxing gloves are pom-poms, and she cheers for the local school team, cheerleader Rosa. 
and College M's got a small remodel, so she can now make part of the gang as well. She's now called Mean Girl M. Lastly, he's the popular Chad, plays sports, and has a date for the prom. Jocks 2. Jocks 2 is also a 299 gems king, so it will come with a pink set, profile picture, spray, and custom effects when you defeat an enemy brawler. We'll also add this extra effect to all the other 299 gems kings in future updates. It's funny you mention a 299 gem skin, because we have a new mecha skin. Your favorite Whatever, emo boy Edgar, Edgar is the one getting this Yo, super cool skin. Hawk. It has everything you'd expect from a mecha skin, including the new special effect for defeating brawlers. Yeah. Mecha Edgar will be released in early October. And this time we have two skins for the Lunar Festival. They are Lunar Janet, and now she's ready to shine and fly around the moon. And Handbok Man, using the cute traditional dress from this event. Chuck is the new brawler coming in October. He used to be an orchestra conductor before he joined Star Park, and now he's still a conductor, but for trains. The darkness and the weird noises from the ghost station inspire his music while he travels between stops. And every once in a while, he performs his act to Gus when he mysteriously shows up. He shoots a cloud of hot steam with his main attack and it can hit the target three times. And this super is really different. He can throw train signs on the floor and then he dashes between them. There's a certain number of train signs you can drop on the ground and you can't connect signs if they are behind a wall. Okay. But if you set up your signs right, you can dash across the entire map. So it's up to your creativity and strategy on where you want to place those signs. It sounds very complex, but once you start playing, you get used to it. But remember to check the Brawl content creator videos for a full breakdown of the brawler. Chuck also has a 29 gem skin called Inferno Chuck, Chuck that makes him just brawler. a bit scary. So, and before we jump into Hypercharge, we want to tell you about a new change regarding power levels. Power levels will now increase your brawler power from 5% to 10% with each level. Our goal is to make leveling up your brawlers a bit more meaningful, and even though it's an obvious thing to do in the game, it should be more rewarding to do so. Some new animations and visuals are also being applied when leveling up to help make it more exciting. This shouldn't change the end game meta because all the brawlers upgrade the same. However, star powers and gadgets that are not percentage based will be slightly weaker for the time being. Our goal is to change all of those percentage values in the next updates. Okay, it's time to get Hypercharge. Oh, Hypercharge go. is the new item you unlock at power level 11. So you heard it right, we are not adding a new power level. This means that the gear slot you would normally unlock at level 11 will now be unlocked at level 8. Here's how your progression looks now. Gadget, gear, star power, another ah, gear, this and looks hypercharge. Good. This is so, what is hypercharge? Hypercharge makes your super attack more powerful and your brawler generally stronger. But it's only for a short while. To get your brawler hypercharged, you have to fill another bar in battle that appears around the new hypercharge wow. button. Anything that normally charges the super also charges the hypercharge bar, but takes longer. Once your hypercharge is up, you only have to press the hypercharge button and it will activate for your brawler, which will make them in flames and will also change the super icon. For the release of hypercharge, right. we'll have a collector's bundle with some really cool cosmetics. You can buy the bundle with gems or coins, but if you want just the hypercharge item, you can wait two weeks and buy it directly from the brawler's profile screen. We will start with introducing hypercharge for Shelly, Colt, Bull, Spike, Jackie and Pearl. So six in total. Oh, yeah, so Our goal is to release more with each update. And by the way, right. you can get Shelly's Hypercharge for free. Ooh. In the new Hypercharge Unleashed event we are releasing with the update. In this event, you will play a random game mode with a random maxed out brawler who has Hypercharge. Ooh. You don't need to own the brawlers to play with them in the event, so everyone can play. Complete the quest for this new game mode and you will get Shelly's Hypercharge for free. You can still buy the cosmetic bundle for gems or coins if you want to. But be aware that this event will only be live for a limited time, so if you want one free hypercharge, make sure to play it right after the update is live. Right. Hypercharge will also be available in Star Drops in early October, right. together with Star Drop events. The events are double Star Drop days and free Star Drops in the shop. Four game modes are available instead of six. Okay. Showdown and Brawl Ball are always on, and Knockout will rotate with Jangrab. Siege is coming back and will be rotating with Wipeout. 
Bounty, Heist and Hot Zone are now disabled from the normal rotation. Oh. This change should improve matchmaking speed and the overall quality since players will be less distributed across different game modes. Yeah. But they will still be available every once in a while and also in friendly modes. Go Blue is getting all. a small revamp to his model. Oh. A new rare oh, gear yeah. added. The World Finals this year will take place at DreamHack Here. Winter in Sweden from November 24 to 26. You can watch it online, but if you would like to experience this event in person and get access to exclusive Brawl merch, check the description below for the ticket sales. Look for the hashtag RodeoHank giveaway to have a chance of winning this awesome skin. And now, an update about our roadmap and the future of Brawl Stars with the one and only Frank, the Brawl Stars game lead. Hello everyone! Hi, Over the last 12 months we've improved gears, started working on a reporting system, introduced the Star Road, Masteries, Bling, Star Drops, a new catalog for cosmetic items, changed up the battle start and battle end screens, and now last but not least introduced a new gameplay mechanic, Hypercharge. What's up next for Brawl Stars you ask? The first item on our to-do list is Club League. Yeah. We are currently not satisfied with the structure. There are too many different systems, which makes it rather hard to understand for our new Once players. New but at the same time, we're locked in a lot of progression yeah. behind playing Club League every week. And the grind really never ends. This has to change to allow more people to participate and benefit from it. We're planning to ship Club League 2.0 within the next few updates. Next on our to-do list is a bigger rework for Power League to make it more accessible and rewarding to play. Today, Power League is only attractive for our most hardcore players. Can we change this by improving rewards and accessibility, while at the same time addressing some of your biggest concerns? We think so. Two things from our previous roadmap that we did not deliver were social feature improvements and the PvE revamp. PvE revamp is not in our scope as we are currently focusing on the core features of Brawl Stars. But we'd still like to improve social features that allow you to find friends and other players faster and easier than today. Find a team has a ton of promise, but it's underutilized. In general, it is simply too hard to play with others, even though we really believe it's the best way to play Brawl Stars. We're also currently taking an honest look at our Brawl Pass. Is bi-monthly still the right cadence? Do we really need to introduce more chromatic brawlers every update? Or do we need chromatic rarity at all? Could we offer more benefits for you for purchasing the raw pass? Last but not least, we'd like to focus more on gameplay itself. We'd love to try out many more game modes than we did in the past. We have some really cool ideas, let's see how they come out. That's it for now. This doesn't mean that nothing else is on our radar, but these are the clear focus items for the whole team. And with that, see you in October. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And to get into the vibe of the new season, here's the free ping we've promised. To get it, you can just scan the code on the screen or tap on the link in the description. Can you witness the reference? Comment down below if you did. Uh, Definitely like not a mediocre reference. reference. Yeah, hey, you. Me? No, you watching this video. Me? Do you want to get all the hypercharge for free? Here's how you can do it. We are calling all the TikTokers for the hypercharge challenge. All you need to do is to upload a video to TikTok with the hashtag hypercharge and hashtag brawlstars. In the video, you have to show us what gets you hypercharged. It can be a video of you, your cat, your brawl gameplay, Marcio's grandma, anything that will make sense with hypercharge. And don't forget to use the hashtags because that's how we will find you. We will pick 10 random videos and these players will receive all six hypercharged collectors bundle. And if your video has the most views, you will also get a ticket to the 2023 World Finals with all expenses paid. Check the oh. in-game news for all the rules and good luck. Bye. 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 I think we all went together. No. <laughs> yes, Danny. Now. Touch your gloves. Touch your gloves. Yeah. <laughs> now, touch your gloves. <laughs> so, are we getting wrenchy Wild West skins? <laughs> That's the proper. <laughs> She's. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you mentioned a 200. Ah. <laughs> and before we jump into hypercharge, we want to tell you something about. <laughs> 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 okay guys, keep it clean. Here are the rules. No poison daggers, no weapons in a shape of an umbrella, no big hammers, no shovels, no throwing dynamites at each other or cactuses or... Sneakers. Thank you. <laughs> no flying bottles, <laughs> rocket the, launcher, uh, revolvers, uh, uh, guns, uh, shotguns, theory. no baseball bats, no turrets and no big pets like bears. Is that clear? Yes, Paula. Yeah. Okay, yes. now you can fight. <laughs> Alright, um...
Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I, uh, I did like that, um... Yeah, so, um, new Brawler Pearl is, um, she definitely seems interest. she definitely seems interesting, what with her whole gimmick of a, a like, a heat, a heat meter of sorts. And, uh, the, uh, Chuck, uh, um, the, uh, ghost, you know, member of the ghost train, you know, he's at least, his, um, his super definitely seems interesting, to, uh, to say the least. So, definitely as my, uh, I'm definitely curious as to how he would, how, like, how he would, like, I guess we need to, like, I I don't even know what I'm saying. I, I'm thinking we, like, we need to, like, wait and just kind of see what, like, what, you know. <laughs> I can't even speak. I got so many things I want to try, want to try and say, and I can't even say it. Uh, let's see how, when he gets into the game, let's see how he does. And we'll see whether he's good or not. There, that, that, that's roughly what I wanted to say. Whatever. The uh, the waistline skins look. Uh, they look. White waistline skins look really cool. I do. I do like them. Um, I'm definitely. They definitely look real cool. And, um, hypercharge definitely is very interesting. Very interesting concept. Yeah, they also. They did say they they re were sort of reworked progress. So um, from what I saw, it seems like. We're still gonna get gadgets at level seven. We're gonna unlock gear slot one at level eight. Get star powers at level nine. Get gear slot two at level ten, and then get hypercharge at level eleven. Which personally, I think that might that's a little bit better for progression. Because personally, I kind of find it weird how we had like a break. How like, like there, we don't really get anything. So actually, maybe you know, never mind. What I was trying to say is, I think that progression is a little better than the current model we have, where you get gadgets at level 7, star powers at level 9, gear 1, gear slot 1 at level 10, and gear slot 2 at level 11. Definitely think that's more, uh, a little more sustainable. But uh, the, uh, the, uh, the academy, the high school monster academy skins, those, uh, those definitely look real interesting. And I, I do quite like the look of them. And I, I I feel like there's good, maybe gonna be like a lot of fan art with those skins. And uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, what Frank's is talking about uh, the um, at the end of um, uh, with in the video in terms of uh, the road the um, the roadmap is uh, it's definitely interesting. Uh, we're just gonna have to see what happens in the uh, in the future. The um. See how these uh, change, those changes will implement, be implemented, and uh, whether or not we will still get a chromatic, a, chroma a chromatic brawler every uh, brawl pass, or if um, a brawl pass will still happen bi-monthly. Uh, who, uh, who knows? So, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So, uh, overall, I think um, I think this is a, a pretty cool looking, um, pretty good update. So, uh, yeah, um, I think that's um. I think that's probably about it. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload made by me. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.